everyone, welcome to my channel, today we are creating 3D text animation, without any plugins, using Adobe After Effects with Cinema 4D Lite, so without any wait let's see the preview. This is Adobe After Effects, now create a new composition, I'm going with 1920 by 1080, frame rate 60 fps. Make it 5 seconds long, then click on OK. You can create 3D text animation using Element 3D plugin, as my system does not support Element 3D plugin, so we are creating using Cinema 4D Lite inside of After Effects. Go to Layer, New, Max on Cinema 4D file, now save your file. It will automatically open Cinema 4D Lite, it comes pre-installed with your After Effects version. Now set frames to 150 which is actually 5 seconds long. Go to the spline, click on and hold your mouse button on it, then select text, type your text. Here I am typing individual letters, now change the font, download link is provided in the description. Go to generator objects and then select extrude, now grab your text and place it on the extrude with down arrow pointing on it. Now you will have 3D text. Select Extrude. Here you can increase the depth of the text. I am going with 20 cm long. Now, down double click to create new mat. Again double click on matte. Then in color, you can adjust your color. Then go to reflectance. Add Beckman. Now set the color. And adjust the settings as shown. Now drag and drop your mat on the text, select the text layer and align it to middle. Now create rust mat, go to create, load, material preset, light, materials, metal, select metal corroded iron, double click on mat, in color, change the color of the mat. Go to Reflectance, then add a texture. Texture image link is provided in the description. Change Mix Mode to Multiply, add the same color, and adjust the settings as shown. drag and drop the rust mat on the text, but the rust mat is applied on the whole text, we want the rust mat only on the front. For that, select the rust mat in extrude, in selection, type C1, now it is applied only on the front of the text. Now, 
I'm duplicating the text layer 7 times, so that we can add animation to each letters individually. Make sure all text layers is children of extrude, now change the letters. As you can see all letters are not in 3D. Now select extrude, in object, click on hierarchical checkbox. Now all text will appear in 3D. Then adjust each letter X position as shown. Now create a light, make sure you are at first frame. Adjust the Z position as shown. Select light then click on the key icon to add a key frame. Go around 80 frames, adjust the Z position as shown. Then add a keyframe, you will have light animation like this. Now create another light. Go to first frame and add a keyframe. Go around 80 frames. Adjust the X position as shown, then add a keyframe. Go to first frame. Select all the text layers, in coordinate table, set H rotation to 90 degrees. Then add a keyframe, go around 30 frames. Change H rotation to 0 degrees. Then add a keyframe. Now you will have rotation like this on each letters. Now create a new camera. Go to first frame. Click on Auto Keyframe. Increase Field of View, it will automatically adds the keyframe. Go to End of Timeline, decrease the Field of View. Now you will have Zoom In effect. Let's create another text and repeat the same steps till extrude.
then keep the extrude amount to 0 cm. Create another mat, and set color to white. Drag, and drop mat on the text. Now minimize Cinema 4D light, as you can see nothing has changed in After Effects, for that, first save your file then open After Effects. Now you will see some grid lines in the background, now change renderer to standard final, to view final output. Now create another light. Go to first frame and add a keyframe, go to end of your timeline, and adjust the X position as shown. Then add a keyframe. Again save your file. Now let's create new solid for the background. Right click, new, solid. I'm calling it as BG. Then click on OK, drag the BG layer and place it below Cinema 4D. In the effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Double click on it to apply on the layer, change ramp to radial ramp, and align the ramp to center. Now set end color to black. and start color to dark red select cinema 4d layer press T on your keyboard go to first frame then add a keyframe and make opacity amount to 20% then go few frames forward and make opacity amount to 100% now extend the layer to end of your timeline Double click here to import your particles footage, link is provided in description. Now change the mode to screen, and place it above BG layer. Select all the layers press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose, I'm calling it as final, then click on OK. Go to around 4 seconds. Press T on your keyboard and add a keyframe, go to end of your timeline, make opacity amount 0%. Your title animation is ready, press 0 to ramp review. Thank you for watching this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.